Hi, I'm Brian. Welcome back to my shop. So today I'd like to show you a dyno I've been working on to test small engines. Uh, I'll give you a brief overview of the theory of this dyno and where I'm at. Let's go take a look. So here's my dyno setup. Just give you a quick look around. Okay, on the left here we have a BLDC motor out of an electric car and on the right we've got a small Honda GX200 under test. They're connected together with a chain and a gear ratio of about 2 to 1. Now the motor is free to rotate and on this side we've got a, uh, a load cell that detects the force. So the gas engine rotates, this, engine, this electric motor resists it, and we detect the, uh, the force, and because we know the distance, we can calculate the, the torque. Uh, here we've got some MOSFETs that control the amount of braking force that the electric motor provides. And we've got a control board here that provides a PWM signal to control the amount of braking force. A uh, little knob here that I use to input the amount of braking force at the, mo at, the, at the moment. Got a servo that hopefully will control the th throttle to the uh, gas engine. And this is the, uh, the interface board for the load cell. We've got a temperature sensor and we've got some Hall effect sensors that are inside the back of the motor. Here we've got a Raspberry Pi and it's just showing debugging data coming out of the controller. Uh, it shows the torque, the power, uh, the amount of resistance, RPM. <laughs> That is cooking the, uh, the clutch. The clutch is smoking. So, too much resistance. Uh, so I gotta go figure that out. All right, so I changed the sprocket to a bigger one and uh, it looks like it's something to do with the control electronics. So I'll disconnect them now and start up the engine and, and show you what it's like. All right, so the good news is uh, there's, the, there's not too much resistance on the electric motor when it's not in braking mode. Uh, the bad news is that uh, the electronics I have are, it just fried and it put it into full braking mode, which is why the clutch was barking. So I gotta go back and look at the electronics, but there's progress. So in no load mode it spins and in full load mode it can't spin. So it looks like it'll do the braking I need. So back to the drawing board for the electronics though. I think that's about it for now. So that's an overview of my dyno project and where I'm at now. My next steps, I'm gonna redesign the MOSFET board so I can get variable resistance from the electric motor. And hopefully I'll have another update in about a week. Thanks for watching, bye for now.